Hey, what's up? Hello. My name is Liz and you're watching for Booking Out Loud. So today I'm going to continue what I started, I think last week, where I talked about five favorite nonfiction books of 2020 and then five wishes I had for 2021 to read. And today I'm going to go over series. So five favorite series I read this year and then five series I want to either start or complete next year. This list is definitely interesting because I tried to keep strict guidelines when I was looking at my history from this past year and I wanted to say either I completed the series or I've read the series before and it's a reread and there has to be more than one book out in that series. So that also means some books that I started this year that I've completely fallen in love with, if there's only one in the series right now, it does not count. However, I think I'm very happy with the list that I did finally complete with. And that's also a reason why this video is out a little late because I wanted to complete a series today before I talked about it. So the first series that is my one of my favorites this year or has to be the Lord of the Rings series. And it gets a little complicated, I know. The three books, the three Lord of the Rings are supposed to be one book. And so does that make it a series or does that just make it one huge fantasy epic? I'm counting it as a series either way because I did end up reading this one, The Hobbit, and I also completed The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and Return of the King. I didn't complete all of the Tolkien books that I wanted to this year. I still have The Cimmerillion and some of the other books that are in the same world, but I will finish that next year. And honestly, this was a reread for me, so there wasn't anything I was surprised about. I just really enjoy the adventure that Lord of the Rings gives you. So what can I say? It's still one of my favorites and it's definitely a favorite series of 2020. My second favorite series that I read this year is actually a comic book series, which would be the Umbrella Academy. Now this is the third one and that's how many of these books are out right now, only three, but I honestly fell in love with it. I loved the artwork. It's completely amazing. And I just started to fall in love with the series and I'm really excited for the fourth one to come out whenever it does. And it's a comic, so it, it's a really fast read as well. And I just, I really appreciated the different concept that it had. Okay, so number three, I am currently in the middle of rereading the series, but I did finish the first book in the series this year, so I'm going to count it because I absolutely adore it. It's the Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. This is the one I read this year, The Assassin's Apprentice, and I don't think I'll be able to finish the second one this month, but I do plan to finish my reread of it next year and hopefully continue on into the other series that take place in the same world. It's an absolutely fantastic fantasy. There's great concepts. Honestly, the characterization is phenomenal. Hobb does such a great job introducing the main character Fitz as this whole human being with flaws and good traits, of course. And it's just really fun, especially in this first book, to watch him grow up from a kid to a young adult. And I'm really excited to finish my reread next year. The fourth favorite series I had this year was honestly the Witcher series. I went back and forth on this one, whether I wanted to include it in this list or not. And ultimately I decided to include it because the first two books in this series as short stories, I honestly fell in love with them so much. 
They might be some of my favorite fantasy books. And I will have to admit that the subsequent books where you have three through seven, not my favorite, and that is the chunk of the series. However, I still loved the characters, even if the plotline itself was not what I was aiming for. And then ultimately, I did finish the eighth book today. So it is a completed series now for me. And I thought it was fine. It was supposed to be like another prequel kind of book. And it just gives a little bit more to the characters. I wasn't fully in love with it, but I honestly can say I really appreciated having this series this year to just have some escapism. And if you're into fantasy at all and you love world building and just some great action books, I do honestly highly suggest you pick up the first two of this series, if not the whole series. And then finally for number five, this might surprise a lot of people because for a while there I was pretty uh, back and forth on this series, but ultimately I decided to include the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I had some books that were probably some of the least appreciated books for me this year in this series, but at the same time when I got to book three or when I got to the very end of the series, I absolutely loved watching these characters grow throughout the series and just having that complete plot line. And then the ending was so satisfying. And yes, there's still a part of the series in book, what was it? The Wolves of Kala? and the song of Susanna, it started out. I hated, hated that plot. And I still do, I'm not backing down from that. But ultimately I do think it redeems itself and I just enjoyed reading it when I did enjoy it, if that makes any sense. And I would suggest this series if people love sci-fi and fantasy and Stephen King. Otherwise, I don't know if I would hand this book off to anyone else. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But it is one of my favorite series that I finished this year. So on to series that I wish to finish in 2021. I have five wonderful series and I believe they're all either complete or they're going to be complete next year. So the first series I'm really, really excited to read, I haven't heard enough good things about it, is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. It has three books in it, Poppy War, The Dragon Republic, and The Burning God. And it's a grim, dark fantasy set in, not ancient China, but set with Chinese politics in mind and the the Second Sino-Japanese War. And it's all about, from my understanding, the consequences of warfare and what it does to the people fighting in it and the country that it takes place in. So really excited to embark on that series whenever I get around to it. But it is one that I really do wanna finish next year. The second one is the Burnt Empire series. It's a duology, I believe. The first one came out this year, which is Upon a Burning Throne. And the second one should come out next year, I believe in April or sometime in spring. And it's called A Dark Queen Rises. So this duology is an epic fantasy tale by a really well-known Indian fantasy author. He sets this world in an ancient Indian classic and I'm just kind of excited for it. It sounds like there's a lot of political intrigue, plus, you know, you just have some fantasy in the background. And I just wanna branch out more and see some awesome non-Westernized fantasies. So the third series I wanna embark on in 2021 is the Devon Bad trilogy, Deva Bad. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is a trilogy and it just finished this year. It has the City of Brass, the Kingdom of Copper, and the Empire of Gold. I have to admit, I don't know too much about this series. 
other than you have the typical intrigue, you have the typical fantasy part of it, because again, this is another fantasy series. And I believe it has a strong female lead, which I'm always here for. And it's just one that I want to try out for myself and see if I do enjoy it or not. Okay, number four is kind of a doozy. I have been saying I want to read a Brandon Sanderson book for a really, really long time. And next year will be my year. I've done a lot of research to ask a lot of people. And honestly, I've settled on the Mistborn series to be my first Brandon Sanderson series. My information is from the interwebs. So I don't know if it's completely right. And if it's wrong, please, please, please let me know. But I believe there's six books in the Mistborn series, three that take place in the beginning, and then three that take place like 300 years later or something. The idea intrigues me, and honestly, Mistborn itself, the idea of the series really excites me, just because it's mostly, again, from my understanding, it's mostly toying with the idea if what if the bad guys win in a fantasy world? Why not? Again, that's my information from the interwebs. Really what brings me to this series is that I want to see if Brandon Sanderson is a writer for me. He's so influential in the fantasy world and he's coming out with great book after book after book. And I just want to dive into his writing and this is... The series that I decide to pick and I will be reading that next year. And then finally the fifth series I want to embark on next year is the Gentleman Bastard series. I believe there's three books out right now where you have the Lies of Locke Lamora, Red Seas Under Red Skies, and the third one that's out, The Republic of Thieves. From my understanding this series takes place in or this series really watches this one group of thieves and they're incredibly close to each other they help each other out they're like family and then things kind of get fantasized I guess I'm excited to read it I've heard a lot of good things about it and again this is one series that I just want to see is it for me or not and I really hope it is but those were my five best series of 2020 and then my five wishes for series in 2021. Do you have any ideas on series you want to start or finish next year or are you kind of just winging it? I kind of want to know. But thank you for watching. Please comment down below and I will see you next time.